This December I'm making a Christmas calendar using vanilla JavaScript and HTML canvas. In each one of these days I'm going to procedurally generate a unique Christmassy item because I need icons like these around this time and good free ones are hard to come by. I also want to easily scale and color them in different ways. I hope you'll follow along and implement your own versions so I can showcase them in a special video on the 24th. You'll practice working with coordinates, basic math, and various JavaScript programming techniques. It's a good project, I think, to learn about code modularity, reusability, and how to write consistent code. Today is day 6 and we're gonna draw a bell. Coding with Rob. Let's code now. To draw the bell on day 6, we're gonna go to index.html and add a new function here at the sixth index, draw bell. And this will be implemented in its own file, bell.js. Control clicking this on VS Code is going to create it for us in the items folder. And let's implement a quick version of it that just displays the bounding box. I take out these helper variables, top and left, and draw a rectangle from this location using the size as the width and the height. Save, refresh, and now we have our placeholder here and it gives us a good reference when drawing the item. Now, I want the bell to hang on something, a ring, like what we did here for the, um, for the ball. So let's just copy that code from there. Basically this. I'm going to take it to the bell, save, refresh, and we have the ring to start with. And now the bell also has that kind of, that clapper at the bottom, that ball there. I want to draw that now because after that we can worry about this bell shape. It's going to be on top of that ball that we see at the bottom. So let's define an object for this clapper and it's going to have a radius maybe same as that of the ring at the top and the x is going to be just x so we center it and then the y value I'm going to need to use a getter because I'm going to subtract from the bottom this radius that we just defined up here. Remember that this radius is not accessible before this object is created. So basically we need to use a getter for it. And bottom should be added here to our helper variables because it relates to the bounding box. Now we can continue here and give this clapper a color as well, maybe a dark color because it's going to be shadowed by the bell itself. And then here I'm going to use our draw circle method at x and y using the clapper's radius and the fill style is going to be set to the clapper's color. Now save, refresh, and this is what we get. For the bell, I'm going to start probably here at the bottom of this ring. Let's see the whole ring this time and draw a triangle to begin with, like so. So it cuts this clapper in half. Let's define our bell object. The top is going to be top plus this ring radius times two. So we want to see the whole ring this time. And then the bottom is going to be bottom minus the clapper radius. So it cuts it in half. And let's begin a path and draw this kind of triangle. We're going to fill it. Let's give it a normal color from this hue. So normal intensity. And then move to the top of the bell and then line to the left of the screen using the bell bottom and line to the right of the screen and the bell bottom. Fill, 
and remember to define this right because it's also missing here from our helper variables x plus half the size save refresh and uh, kind of looks like a bell already but um, bells are round you should use some kind of curve here and this is going to show you how to use the Bezier curve, which has two control points. And what we do on this side should be somehow mirrored on the right side as well. So I'm going to add to this bell object this offset. And um, this control point offset is going to somehow specify how far we want in both directions to control the Bezier curve, the one that has two control points. So let's say not really half the size, but let's say 25% of the size, because that's going to move from here a quarter of the size here. So our control points are going to be somewhere here. Maybe we put one here at the top and one here at the bottom, and that's going to give us that kind of snake-like shape. We'll see. So we change now the first line to to be a Bezier curve to and the control points. So X minus this bell offset at the top. The second one, the same thing, but we are going to use the bell bottom. And then the destination is going to be left and bottom, same that we had previously in the line two. Now save, refresh, and you can see what we have here. You can play with these control point X offsets the way you want. Like if you're gonna make it all the way here, um, like so you're gonna get this kind of bell that doesn't have that S-like shape because both of them are, are here, but then controlling this more or less is going to give you a different kind of shape. So maybe you want less of this here and more here like like I'm doing now. And then when you're happy with this, repeat the same on the right side. We still need to have the line to the right and the bell bottom because it's this straight line here and then make our way back up here by somehow reversing those, those values. So another Bezier curve too. This time we will add these offsets and we have to remember that we are starting at the bottom. So we use the bottom first and then the same with the top. And we end, this time we end at the middle here. So that's X and the bell top. And there it is. That reminds me, I haven't said click the bell button in a very long time. I don't like saying that.